So, Red, we talked about your hitting that German fighter that went straight down from that shot that you laid across his whole nose back to the pilot's uh, cockpit. Into September, you were bombing a lot of targets again. Budapest, September 17th. Munich and the rail yards there, September 22nd. And into early October, your pilot, Bill Lee, and a couple of the other officers got some leave to go to Capri. And when they came back to the base, you guys went. You, Sergeant Dempsey, Corny Fanero, and maybe a few yeah, other fellas. That was all of it. How did that feel? To, you, you took a truck from the base to Naples and then took a boat over to Capri, right? Yeah. And you talked about climbing up those steep hills to get to the rest place, and the guy told you a story about a wall there that a German truck had gone through? Oh, yes. We went up to the very top of Capri. This is a big island down there, very tall. And this one fellow could speak English, and he told us as we were going up there, we went all through the big church and so forth. On the way back down, this fellow mentioned to us and pointed out the big uh, wall to keep the safety wall. The rocks in that area were much lighter than the old ones, and he told us that. that uh, during the war, even the Italians hated them, uh, uh, Germans, you know, and that they came up there on vacations too. But as they were coming down, driving their own vehicles, they had them sabotaged somehow. The Germans lost control of their vehicle, whatever it was, went over, hit the wall, broke it down, the wall, uh, the vehicle, and all the Germans in it fell, clear down, it's over 100 feet, clear back down to the ocean. Wow. That's the last that I've seen of those people. What did you like best about Capri? Just getting some shut-eye in a real bed, or what did you enjoy about that, you Well, guys? that was nice. I, uh, being an old farm boy, you know, green as grass, I made up my mind, because I heard the other guys talk, like in the mess hall about that uh, sights there is to see uh, there on Capri and it's about as I remember from Naples you know, a couple hours right out, to the, on, out there the first thing you notice is that everything is straight up from there to get up to uh, uh, this is Capri when you land when you hit the the island itself. Mm -hmm. I've got it done. Then you get this there's a an organ, uh, thing there that got like just like seats a on the, like in a bus, but they're moving all the time going up. That's how you get up to Anna Capri. That's where and that's where the town that and all the businesses are right there. Mm -hmm. And that's where our, where we had billets from that point. Uh it struck me that it, was, it looked nice and clean. Everything was done outside, and the Italians sat there, and yeah, they they all first one of them start singing. Next thing you know, all of them be singing. You know, this this like life was really wonderful. You know, mm -hmm. it made you stop and think. Here, maybe that ain't bad at all. You know? Yeah. So you had good food there, lots of rest. How long yeah. did you stay? I don't. I suspect about a week at least. Mm -hmm. And it was a. I took advantage of it down on the ocean side there what they call it the uh, blue grottos there's a blue and a black and I went there in this boat with a fella and then I had to spread out my legs there and one, uh, an army nurse come up she sat down there and then leaned back in my arms you know and the reason for that was the uh, we're on the water in the boat, and now the the fellow that's running the boat, you know, with oars, he's got to take us through an, a, an opening. This is like a half of a cave, and but he had to wait until the ocean waves pulled back, and, it, and he he get in time with that. The minute he get, got back here, he'd sneak inside real quick. <laughs> when he got inside, it it, it was r rather light, and you, know, you could see. One of the most beautiful sights I've ever seen in my life, as far as color, he take his oar 
and to splash like that and to make that water be, and in the most beautiful blue you ever saw in your life. That was why they call it the Blue Grotto Cave, mm -hmm. Blue Cave. Mm -hmm. and there's all, I didn't go in the black, but they, they also have that. Very nice island, Re relaxing. That was a big thing. Excellent. One second.